Today is a reinstalling the leafy green hydroponic system. If you remember from last year, it had uh, five rails in it. Today I put up three and I left room for a fourth. I spaced them out a little more for some more headroom and redid the drain system. Last year we had a lot of backing up of the drains because it was all half inch to three quarter. This time I went half inch instead of rubber tubing. I actually hard piped into down into a inch and quarter drain here, which goes down and dumps into the top of the reservoir this time. Or last year, I had it come into the side with three quarter inch tubing. This inch and quarter, it works a lot better and there's no backing up. So it's all ready to go. I gotta make a couple adjustments for a couple of leaks still and still have to seed the lettuce, kale, and basil that's gonna be going in here. But it's all ready to go for this next crop. I'll also quickly show you that uh, I got the rails over here back up and running and uh, we got up here we got some uh, zucchini squash got three of those going and then over here we got summer squash and over here in the back got spaghetti squash going this year and we have one cherry tomato plant probably will be moved after a little bit if you remember last year I had these last three were filled up with uh, beefsteak tomatoes which the roots overtook the whole rail and this whole side and another lesson I learned from last year is do not plant a plant over the drain because the roots go right down into the drain and clog up the system so keeping that last pot free this year don't know what I'm gonna put here yet but uh, we'll be planting there soon took out the uh, pots in the back I'll be redoing that system and again not overcrowding like I did last year I'll probably only have two on each end uh, cucumbers and uh, probably more tomatoes so that's it for now. I'll show you one more time. This is the leafy green NFT system. Got three rails and I have room for a fourth rail, which we'll install later 